Okay, budget and finance, Gerard and Bob. I can make a motion to accept subject to audit the consolidated expenditure report for the month of November 2010, totaling $192,316.56. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, I'd like to make a motion to approve the uh, year 2011 budget. Second. We moved and seconded. Do we need to have a special hearing on this, Paul? I believe that public comment should be invited. It will uh, be, yeah. Before voting, yes. Okay. The, um, Total 2011 Newtown Borough proposed budget of two million five hundred thousand two hundred and two million five hundred thousand twenty three five hundred twenty three thousand four hundred fifty nine. Okay. Then move. Was it seconded? You seconded. I seconded. Second. 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 Okay. So Modify your second. Modify. No. <laughs> yes, I do. Um. Can we open up for some comments or? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, just wanted to remind everyone, you know, we, um, the, the budget process has, has taken place over uh, actually a long period of time. I remember Bob going on a, a trip to Alaska, I think, bringing a, a, a copy with him to uh, start to mark up way back in July, and I took a copy to the beach. And, but really, the thanks goes to Pat Hours, who, who put a lot of time and effort into uh, keeping us on track on, on this year's budget schedule. Um, we've talked about the budget now for the past few months, uh, had a lengthy discussion on, on it last, last month, um, and I know that, uh, you know, certainly on the budget, um, our philosophy was that uh, this was a, 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 another tough year in terms of um, the, the revenues that were projected to be coming in and expenditures um, that, that rise. But that being said, I think the approach that uh, Bob Pat and, and I took in crafting this budget was to really um, hold on as tight as possible to every dollar and uh, and some of those areas that that uh, is a little bit different about this budget um, visible tonight where um, the engineer isn't at this meeting because we're trying to to uh, have the engineer engineer come to um, meetings as needed in order to save some, some money. Um, we're not doing a, a major road project next year, um, in part because I think there's been a lot of road work done over the past few years, but also in part um, to have our uh, liquid fuels budget um, uh, be increased uh, during 2011 so we could use it in 2012. Um, and other areas, such as uh, Shade Tree, where we, we didn't put the full $5,000 in for next year, but we're going to see how it goes as the year progresses. So I think we've all kind of pulled back as much as possible on the expenses, and it's a pretty tight budget. So that's the only comment. And, and thank all of you for your uh, input and, and help along the way. Any other comments? Does anyone from the audience wish to be heard on the budget? OK. Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Opposed. Okay, so there were two. You opposed? Correct. Yeah. All right, so that was four, four um, ayes, two nays. Motion carries. Okay. I'd like to make a motion uh, to approve ordinance number 708, setting the tax rate for the year 2011 as follows. General fund, four mills. Lighting fund, 0.5 mills, fire tax fund, uh, 0.875 mills, street improvement fund, 0.625 mills, earned income tax at 1%, realty transfer tax at 1%, and local services tax at $52. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Just to comment that the, this ordinance was duly advertised uh, prior to this hearing. 
Um, technically, as it is an ordinance, public hearing is required, so um, I expect that you would have opened it to public comments anyway. Yes. Any other comments on council? If not, does public wish to be heard on this ordinance? If not, I'll call the vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> opposed. Okay, so that's four ayes, two opposed. Motion carries. I'd like to make a motion to uh, approve ordinance number 709, fixing salaries and other compensation for elected tax collector, auditor, and council appointees for the year 2011. Second. second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Okay. Anyone from the audience wish to be heard? If not, I'll call the vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, is that all on the budget and finance? Uh, I just have a comment, if I may. Uh, at the uh, budget hearing last month, when we, we discussed and, and to a degree debated also whether or not to have a tax increase, uh, the amount that was uh, talked about as, as a likely tax increase, I think was $86, am I right? $86.90. $86.90, a little less than $100. And um, during the course of that discussion, our council president uh, made a comment which uh, kind of stayed with me and then actually uh, kind of linked up with something I'd seen in town a couple times but really hadn't thought much about. And that was the idea that that, that amount of money that is not um, going to be in the form of a tax increase for next year is capable of being spent locally. When I say local, I mean within Newtown, Newtown Borough on, on State Street, or certainly the immediate area. And some of our businesses have a flyer on the counter or in a window, and it has the title, the 3 slash 50 project. And this is a really uh, wonderful project, which you can access online, which comes right back to this question of the value of spending money locally. And let's just take that $90 or so we're talking about um, that won't be in the form of a tax. And the question is posed by this project, what three independently owned businesses would you miss if they disappeared? So let's take Newtown Borough. What three businesses walking down State Street or one of the streets next to it would we really miss if they were gone? If half the employed population spent $50 each month in locally owned independent businesses, like Newtown Borough, it would generate more than $42.6 billion in revenue nationwide. You can imagine the positive impact if three quarters of the employed, employed population did that strictly locally. And this is a number which I found very interesting. For every $100 spent in locally owned independent stores, $68 returns to the immediate local community through taxes, payroll, and other expenditures. Now, if you spend that same money in a national chain, only $43 stays here. So it struck me that those two things come together and should come together for us. The money that's saved on what would otherwise be a possible tax increase can be something that we as a borough focus on and, in a sense, dedicate or commit ourselves to spending locally. And maybe it won't be $100 every month, but it can be $50, it can be $60, and if we do that, then it seems to me we invest in the very businesses we want to encourage to stay. And again, if we start out with that first question, what three independently owned businesses would you miss if they disappeared, it seems to me that's motivation enough to think on a daily or at least a weekly basis about keeping the money local. So as I say, this uh, website which uh, is being uh, put out there by some of our local businesses is called the 3 slash 50 project. It's a very interesting site. It's got all kinds of information. But again, the point of the exercise is to have us commit 
the money saved in a tax increase to keeping it local, keeping our local businesses, and uh, hopefully that can make a difference in the long term that will benefit all of us. And again, these two things come together for me, and I hope they do for others. Thanks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Any other comments?